Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a vintage Olympus D460 digital camera. What's unique about this camera is it was manufactured in 1999, and therefore it's compatible with OS 7.6, and has a convenient cable which uses the serial port to transfer images with. These cameras are getting very hard to find, as most people don't even bother saving them. In fact, I have the original box and all paperwork, documentation, software, accessories, everything it came with when new. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and print a photo on our Stylus Color 740 of the Apple 2GS, or 2E. Here we go. So we've taken our photograph. The photograph is now saved. We'll go ahead and turn the flash off by closing it. There we go. We'll connect the camera to our serial cable, like so. Turn the monitor off to save battery power, like so. We're going to download our image. Now this takes considerably high amounts of time. Uh, it's very slow. select a folder. We're going to do, um, oh, wait. Okay, that's not how it works. <laughs> Alright, we got to figure this out because hmm. Alright. Camera, download all images. Download selected images. Protect Oop, is that it? There it is. Oh wow, these are some old pictures. There we go. Look at how fast this is. So basically what I have here right now is a complete computer desktop system with all documentation, even a sales receipt for both items, the printer and the computer from 1998. Now look at this. The image quality is deplorable. I mean, it's bloody awful. This actually, oh my god, I took this picture three years ago. <laughs> Amazing. I forgot I had this. No way. Well, well that that's kind of cool, actually. Huh. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at the one we just we just took. Yeah, the image quality is pretty bad. And I think that's because my color settings aren't very high. I'll have to take a look at that in a second. I think I'm in 256 color mode. Let's see. Oh wait, wrong control panel, dummy. Uh, monitors and sound. Yeah, that's why. So let's let's change that up a little bit. There we go. That's more like it. 800 by 600. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Okay. So we can see that the image quality is really not that bad. We're going to go ahead and print this photograph onto the printer. I'm going to print it using quality settings, color, plain paper, single image, and photo quality 720 dpi. Let's see what's going to happen. We're going to do standard stock paper, nothing special. I'm 
you'll notice the computer is slowing down a little bit since I switched the color settings around. Now all I need to get this computer on the internet is a network card, which I don't have. I have a couple of them at work, but that I'm going to be throwing away anyway, so I might take one of those. Just need an old 3Com card and it should kick it up. Get it going. If I remember correctly, the 440 had pretty good photo quality printouts on plain paper. We'll see how the 740 does. They're both 720 DPI printers. Doing a full sized image. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and close this. We do download all images into memory. If I hold the mouse button down, it... I see. <laughs> cool. Now how do I save those images elsewhere? Download all images. I thought that's what it was. If I make a new folder. done there, printer. Now let's let it finish up. If this were on photo paper, it would almost be photo quality. You can see that the ink actually caused the paper to ripple. That's because it's very, very cheap paper. I got this stuff at like Walmart for I think dollar ninety nine a pack. So there you have it. You can still use vintage technology for a lot of different uses. Nothing very practical because I mean. You know, you could buy a computer for $500. It does this 10 times better with a camera that costs 50 bucks. I mean, all together we've got a $400 camera when it was new, uh, you know, a $1,700 computer and a $200 printer. 
so think about it that way. But the good news is it all still works, and it works together in harmony, so hey, whatever.